So the education system is about to change forever with this new thing called ChatGPT. And what this basically is, is a chat bot developed by OpenAI using a ton of text data. And it's basically like talking to a computer and it's scraping the internet and talking like a human back to you. So you can basically ask it any type of query and get a human-like response back. So a lot of people have actually been using ChatGPT for essays, resumes, or even recipes online to cook. But in my case, I personally love using it to actually learn more. Um, even throughout my master's right now, I'll, I'll always ask it for a clarification on any concept I don't get. Um, and I think it's a very underrated tool for beginners. So the reason I think this will actually disrupt the education industries like ed tech platforms such as Coursera, DataCamp, and even higher institutions and education system in general is because ChatGPT allows a certain level of personalizing content, which you traditionally wouldn't get in a normal curriculum. We can all agree that the education system could use some improvement, right? It is extremely standardized, and we as humans are inherently different in so many different ways. Some people are audio learners, some people are visual learners, some people have strengths in math, some people have strengths in English. and doesn't necessarily mean that someone is bad because they don't have a strength in something and have a strength in something else. It just means that we need to tailor education experiences. So I think with the applications of AI in this space, we are going to move closer towards that goal. Another great thing that people aren't talking about is how accessible education is now. With ChatGPT still being free, I'm not sure if it, they plan on keeping it free for long, um, but for right now, people can use ChatGPT and learn almost any skill for free or for a low cost, which isn't necessarily possible for a lot of courses online. Maybe YouTube is the exception. But I also think that eventually ChatGPT is gonna allow for also the gamification of the education industry. So people will actually like to learn. People will actually see the applications and what they're learning, which I think actually lacks in a lot of the curriculums and institutions we're seeing now. So I'm sure a lot of you expiring data scientists or data scientists are familiar with SQL and the applications that it has. So I actually was playing around with ChatGPT earlier today and was able to actually construct a curriculum like week by week, day by day to actually learn SQL. And I want to share that today with you guys. Cool. Um, so let's first ask ChatGPT, what is SQL? And here we're seeing it's going over the definition, how it stands for structured query language, and it's going over some of the applications and industries that it's used for. So how exactly can we learn SQL? And it really goes over um, some different methods. Some people like books, um, some people like projects, and some people like tutorials and courses. So let's ask, how can you create a roadmap for me to learn SQL in three months. So here it's actually going month by month and week by week in this month and actually giving us topics to learn. So week one is intro to SQL, I would agree with that. And it's going over how SQL works, how relational databases work and how to actually set up the MySQL or Postgres SQL. So this looks about right and what you'd see in most curriculums. So let's actually take this a step further. Can you provide the links to resources for each week? So here we're actually gonna be able to watch videos if you're more of a visual learner for how to learn SQL here. Um, and it looks pretty accurate from what I'm seeing so far. Obviously, when you're going through this for whatever purpose, maybe it's not SQL, is to double check these links, double check their curriculum, go over it with another curriculum and cross-reference it, and see if it actually fits the purpose that you're trying to solve. Um, here it looks about accurate, and I think the edge, which what we're going to see with this is we're going to be able to like ask ChatGPT specific questions on how certain functions and how certain concepts work. So ChatGPT, can you explain the concept of a group by statement? So it's actually even giving us an example 
while going over what the definition of this statement is. And I think this takes it a step further from a lot of textbooks. So in this particular example, they're going over orders and they're grouping it by, and they're using an aggregation sum function here, which I think is great. So let's ask ChatGPT, can you go over a left join for me? And it's giving us some definitions of what it is and giving us an example again. So this is actually extremely helpful. Um, so I can, I'm gonna be like, I am still having trouble learning what a left join is. Can you point me towards a video or course that goes over this? So cool, it's going over Khan Academy, um, giving us also the link and going over how it goes over joins. So this is honestly perfect and I think this is the future of learning, really pinpointing where your weaknesses are and giving you the resources that you need to succeed. And I think the nice part about this is if you're coming from another language, let's say R, you can convert like a lot of SQL or R syntax, Python syntax, and really see how to do the same function for the most part in different languages. Um, I think one of the main weaknesses here is that the ChatGPT won't see what data sets are using it. But that being said, I think you can actually describe it to ChatGPT and it will output the right query most of the time. So before you actually cancel all your course sub subscriptions and everything, I want to iterate, courses are not going away anytime soon. If anything, courses are gonna start implementing this technology into their own curriculum. And I think this really provides an advantage to all the students. But for now, I think ChatGPT and courses are a very complementary tool. And for any aspiring data scientist, for whatever skill you really want to learn, you should use both side by side. Um, and I think one of the main advantages of ChatGPT is for school, you have a limit on how many TA office hours you go to or when you can ask questions. ChatGPT is available at any time for you, which is something most education programs don't have. And this is constantly improving. The more data that goes in and the more people using it and the better models, better quality data, this will only improve over time. And I think the next big opportunity is for one of these ed tech companies to implement this themselves and modify their curriculum for each user's personal needs. So obviously there are some limitations. Don't just listen and assume everything ChatGPT tells you is accurate. It's still in the infancy stages right now. So make sure that the information it's given to you is actually correct. Double check it. Um, another uh, limitation of ChatGPT is that it lacks the context a lot of times with what it's saying. But I think this can be fixed with the right questions that you ask it, um, how we went over the joins. And I said, I still don't understand it. And it gave me a few links on how to solidify my knowledge in this space. So I think the key around ChatGPT here is that the tool is available and it's more about the questions you ask it. And lastly, this may not be a standardized curriculum that a lot of employers will use versus like some of these certified classes that we are seeing from like DataCamp and Coursera. So we're still at the beginning stages of AI. I am extremely excited to see what we're going to see within the next five to 10, even 20 years um, of improvements in this space. But I'm sure in the near term, a lot of these companies start implementing their own forms of AI and chatbots.